Hi, welcome back to the article, The Beginner's Guide to Wiring a Star Delta Circuit. This is the second part of the series, and we'll be talking about the control circuit. Let's dive in and take a look. Let's start off by giving a short overview of the equipment. In this circuit, there are push buttons and pilot lamps. And we are using Schneider Electric's XB5 series. This green push button is used as a start button. In this case, we will use it to start the motor. It is a normally open push button. You can see from the symbol NO at the bottom. The red stop button is a normally closed push button and you can see from the bottom here label NC. Now on to the pilot lamps. The red lamps in this case is used to show the motor overload status. The pilot lamps are LED lights and are nice and bright. The green lamps will be on when the motor is running and off when the motor stops. To start the motor, we'll press the green button. To stop the motor, we'll use the red push button. On to other equipment. You will need cables. The right cable for this 9 amp contactor is recommended as AWG from 10 to 18, which is approximately 2.5 square millimeters. After that, you will need three contactors. The first one is the main contactor, labeled KM. This one is from Lovato Electric and you will need one with a normally open auxiliary contact. The second one is the Delta contactor, labeled KD. This one you will need the auxiliary contact to have both NO and NC. The third is the star contactor, labeled KS. This will also need the auxiliary contact to have both NO and NC. The three of them can be of the same size. The main one will need to have an overload relay connected to it. Lastly, you will need a star delta timer, which will be used to sequence the contactors. We don't recommend using a normal timer, since it is better to have a delay function. Let's take a look at the specific function of a timer that is designed for the star delta application. You can see more information from the diagram on the side of the timer. This timer is from Lovato Electric TMST series. As you supply the current from A1 to A2, the star contactor will start first. Then there will be a transition delay. We can set the value of this, then the delta contactor will start. The transition function prevent both the star and delta contactor from working at the same time. Now, if you were to use a normal timer, there will be no transition delay. The timer will immediately switch the contactor from star to delta. This will work okay, but um, there's a chance that both star and delta contactors will be working at the same time. And, um, this may cause some problem. In the diagram, we show both the circuit for the normal timer and the star delta timer. Let's see how we can set up the timer. The top dial is the range and it's like a multiplier. The second dial is the time period that the star contactor will be on. The last setting is the period to delay between the star and the delta. For example, if we set this to 10 seconds, set this time to be 3, this will mean that the star contactor will be on for 30 seconds. So 10 multiplied by 3. The delay here has a minimum of 20 milliseconds. So the star time period can be set by the first and the second dial and the first one acting as the multiplier. Then you set the transition delay with the third dial. The maximum transition time you can set for this timer is 300 milliseconds. Next, we'll be talking about wiring the timer to the delta and the star contactor. 
Okay, let's see here. Um, this is the Star Delta timer, and the way we connect it is as follow. The easiest way to show you is from line to neutral. 220 volt AC supply in here. It connects to A1 and um, the A2 here then connects to the neutral. Then we'll connect the timer to the contactor's auxiliary contact. There's 18 here and 28 here. So from the 18, um, it is connected to the start contactor, which is one here, um, into the coil that takes 220 volts. On the contactor, it will label A1. A2 from the contactor goes to the neutral, completing the circuit. The other contact 28 is connected to the delta contactor A1, and uh, A2 here also goes to the neutral. There are three connections to the neutral, D3 here. From the line, there should be only one connection, which is this one here. Now the circuit is complete, and we can start the motor using this star delta configuration. This completes our two-part series, the beginner's guide to wiring a star delta circuit. If you have any questions or comments, then please feel free to ask us. Press likes to show support for our production team. Subscribe as to not miss our upcoming videos. That's it for today. Thank you and see you again soon.